In the field of agriculture, the application of fungicides is very important for the prevention and control of diseases. Fungicides can be divided into three main categories, chemical, biological, and physical. In this video, we will compare two of the most widely used chemical fungicides in the world, copper versus sulfur fungicides. Copper fungicide. It is used to prevent and control diseases caused by fungi. These fungicides are not very harmful to human health, but they have some disadvantages. For example, a copper fungicide cannot be applied in late spring and early autumn because the soil is too wet. Moreover, a copper fungicide cannot be applied to crops with high water content. Most effective and safe way of using copper fungicide. Apply copper fungicide in the form of powder or granules. The copper fungicide should be applied directly to the crop plants at the rate on the label. You can spray it on the whole crop, but it is better to apply it to the seedlings and leaves of the plants. If you spray it on the soil, the fungicide will not penetrate the roots. Spray is per label instructions. If you look on the label you will see instructions are given for how to apply the product to different plants, and when. Do not deviate from these instructions. Sulfur fungicide. These are widely used in the field of agriculture. It has a strong antifungal effect on the microorganisms that cause plant diseases. All fungicides have limitations, and there are cases where sulfur fungicides have efficacy where copper fungicides lack. Hence they complement each other. However, sulfur fungicide has some drawbacks. It is hard to apply, and it cannot be used in late spring and early autumn. Differences between copper and sulfur fungicide. Copper acts by disrupting many proteins in the fungi. Fungi generally have quite absorptive surfaces compared to plants, so we are able to selectively target the fungi. If you look at powdery mildew growing on a leaf, the copper will kill the powdery milder faster than it kills your plant, meaning that you are able to help your plant. This does not mean that copper will not kill your leaves. Copper is toxic, it just kills fungi faster than plants. Be careful. Sulfur fungicides have a different mode of action. One of which is that enzymes in the fungus can actually produce hydrogen sulfide, which is toxic to metabolism. Both of these fungicides are highly effective, and it is a useful trick to rotate any treatment that you use. Hence if you treat with copper fungicide for one month, use sulfur fungicide next month. You must understand that fungicide washes off the leaves and leaches into your soil. Soil fungi are really important to your plants, so the last thing you should really ever do is to try and fix the leaves of your plant and kill the fungi that feed its roots. Fungi attack weak plants. If your plants are healthy, you will not get fungal problems. To get plants healthy, we need to ensure they have adequate sunlight, adequate soil nutrition, and decent ventilation. Similarities between copper and sulfur fungicide. Copper disables fungal proteins inhibiting their growth, and sulfur disables the fungi from being able to produce energy and probably a whole lot of other things that we must still discover. This means that both kill fungi, but do so in a different way. However, both are relatively harmless fungicides. Some newer fancy fungicides being released onto the market now are far more synthetic engineered compounds, and we will only probably find out in 20 years what trouble they cause. When choosing fungicides, it is important to consider the disease you are trying to control, the crop you are growing, and the fungicide's mode of action. Copper and sulfur fungicides are two fungicides used for different purposes but are successful in eliminating diseases from your plants. Copper is a very broad-spectrum fungicide that can be used to control a variety of diseases including powdery mildew, leaf spot, gray mold, and downy mildew. Sulfur is also an excellent fungicide, and it has been used in some other form since ancient times. If you liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.